how's everybody? Hopefully you're fine. I don't need you to open your mics to tell me how you're doing, but um, I'm, yeah, that's great, great. So uh, yes, uh, Tuesday we had uh, 13, and today so far we have 12. Now, uh, probably next week we'll be in the 20s, but here, here's what I wanna talk about. Um, the business, how do you do the business? The idea of doing the business, at least get uh, uh, real, get real abundance. Uh, you can understand the process by going to the website. Let me show you where I want you to go to understand the process. Okay, so pull it up right here. Get real abundance. Oops, I'm not sharing my screen yet. One second. Okay, there we go. Okay, so everybody should, huh? You don't see my screen yet, or do you see my screen? Do you see Google on the screen? I want to make sure everybody sees we the see same thing. We see a screen, but not the one you're wanting us to. Okay, you don't see Google? No, we see the Google Docs, yes. You see Google Docs, okay, so yeah. that's the wrong screen. Let me see, let me do it again. So that's one, number one. Okay, there we go. So now you should be seeing the screen. Do you not see it? Yes, now we do. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm going to our homepage. So this is it. This is Get Real Abundance. And if you go here on Get Real Abundance, you will see that we have videos here. But I want you to go here to our marketing page. And that is on our About, our story. You click over here. And you just scroll down and you're going to see a whole array of videos that tell you about the company and about all the, um, the uh, uh, meetings that we have. So every meeting that we have, we put a video up here so that you can see it. And, uh, and I want to talk to you. Uh, so today, today's video will be here and it'll say part three. So everybody should have a chance to go through this and see this video. But the other thing I wanted you to see is there's another video here that tells you how to do the business. So I want you to be able to go over here and see that particular bit, uh, video. So you, you should be able to see it on, on this page. Let me go to it one second. This is the product page. Let me just show you everything here. So that's the product page. Then you have the shop page and then you have the opportunity page. And on the opportunity page, if you just scroll down, You'll have the rules, you know, dear, uh, uh, an abundance from a team member. And then that's the president. And then you can scroll down to join now or find a distributor and join now. And then that shows you the product. This is what I want you to see. And so you can see the prices of the product. You can see how you can get in, get, uh, uh, use this product and get signed up. Now, what I wanted, what we talked about last week, I wanted to show you this first, but what we talked about last week was mm -hmm. groups. We got into the uh, group piece and we talked about three principles. One of them is to know, the other principle is to like, and the third principle is what? Does anybody remember that from last week? I, I don't want you to open your mics and tell me. It's to trust. So that's to know, to like, and to trust. Now, how do you become known? I talked about that last week, but I want to just uh, 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 reiterate or review it just so you all remember. Number one, and I'll put this up and it's up on the screen. You can actually, everybody see it, can see it. Let me put it back. Number one, get clear on what you're talking about, right? Don't talk to everybody. Identify your buyers, persona, and tightly position your content for that buyer. Number two, assert expertise in your niche. Your niche is health. Use content to position and prove yourself as an authority. Give your ideas, names, and labels, and present formulas alongside empirical evidence, which if you go to our videos, there's some videos, training videos on the website, including videos that tell you how to do the business, and there's, and I'll send, I can send you all these links. And then um, there's a bit video that I really want you to see that shows Brent showing how uh, uh, the water, the alkalinity of the water. So these are ways you can test and show that you are an authority. And in fact, if you go with the higher uh, piece, if you, if you become uh, uh, with two stores, you decide to get with two stores, and then you will get everything you need to actually demonstrate the product. 
So look at that video. I want to uh, encourage everybody to look at that video. Number three, create the right content. In other words, you want to research, ask questions, dig deep. This is not something that is, is, you can do overnight. This is not a get rich quick scheme. So you want to research, ask questions, dig deep to ensure you create content your target customer wants to consume. You say, well, how do I do it? Well, that's why you're in this part one, part two, part three series, because I'm going to tell you and show you how to do that. Develop a valuable free product. Well, we've done that already. We have a book that we're going to allow you to also share with your team and you'll be able to give it away. So you'll be able to share that free product. Number five, encourage sharing to a wider audience. So when you're posting, and I'm going to show you that in part four, that's next uh, Thursday, when you're sharing a product, you ask people to share. And I'll show you the way you want to do that. And I'm also going to uh, talk about it just a little bit before we get off here tonight. And remember, we're only going to be here 20 to 25 minutes. So you always can feel free uh, and feel comfortable that this is a, a night that you can get on and, and listen and learn something about making money. So number five, which I, uh, uh, I'm sorry, number six, build relationships with key influencers. I'm going to take you through that part. That's a whole nother part, but I'm going, and as well as I'm going to share this document with you today. So you'll be able to uh, see these uh, steps that I want you to take. Number seven, create a popular blog. Well, we've already done that when we, uh, we've already created a blog for you, but to create a popular blog, we have one. We have one called guardianlb.com. And so that blog will also be usable for everybody that's on my team or any team in real abundance. Number eight, interview the experts. This one I really love. I was talking to a guy the other day, uh, uh, Michael, and, and Brent, you remember him. And uh, not only does he know uh, producers, he's going to loan them to us so that we can interview them. But that's not the people that I want you to uh, interview the experts. The experts I'm talking about are the ones that know about negative ions or about the kind of water that we produce. And so those are the kind of experts that I, you, you want to interview. Now, let me tell you something. It's easy to interview them. You just call them up. They're eager to tell you how successful negative ions or, or, or our water has done or has, has behaved in their life. They'll tell you the weight loss that they've lost or the, or the uh, gout that they've cleared up or the high blood pressure that they reduced. And that way, if an per, expert tells you that, you can then put that in a post. I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can, as long as you uh, attach um, a, uh, 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 and a, a attach something here that shows that it's attributed, the statement is attributed to that particular person, uh, then you can use it. Uh, number nine, you want to guess blog. We have 15 websites that you can guess blog on, so that won't be a problem, so you can get to know people. And number 10, get creative. Get creative. Content marketing isn't about the written word. You can explore webinars, product reviews, podcasts, infographs, white papers, ebooks, and videos, to name a few options that will appeal to your audience. Now, that was what I talked about last week. This week, we're going to talk about the 10 actions to build likable online. And that means, you know, I want you to just imagine two people with an identical product and an identical price. One person comes across as boring and impersonal. The other is charming and interesting and makes you feel good. Which one would you rather do business with? That's the question. Which one of those kinds of uh, uh, that person you want to do business with? Let me, let me uh, uh, not distract you with this, with this piece. Let me just go through this with you. So a high profile alone is not enough to convert prospects into customers. You must also build a relationship to nurture your likability. Now, here are the 10 ways to become better liked online. Number one, be authentic and express your unique voice through your content. Number two, you want to be real. If you come across as dull, faceless, uh, or, or a company that doesn't have any lust, you know, any zest or energy, you'll simply turn people off. Instead, boost your popularity by writing with passion, sharing your stories, and getting personal. Next week, as a cliffhanger, I've got a story I want to share with you because I want to see if this works. I want to show you, will it work? Will you like me better? And I want, to, I want you to think about this. Now, those of you who know me now, just mark that I haven't told you my story. 
But next week, I'm going to tell you the story because I want to show you how you have or, or, or an example that you can follow. The next thing is you want to be real or rather uh, be nice. If uh, it, it sounds obvious, but unfortunately, it is not. Don't annoy or badmouth people. Be helpful. That's what you want to do. You want to show that you're helping people. Responsive. Be generous with your time and your attention. Your audience will love you more for it. Initiate a two-way conversation is number four. Invite your audience to engage and interact with you. That's what you want to do, okay? Invite comments on your blog. Uh, post and ask questions in, your, in, in the auto-responser se sequence that they have there. And then number five, you want to be relevant. Listen, research, and ask questions to discover your audience's pinch points. So in other words, you want to package your ideas into thought-provoking blog posts, share solutions on webinar, and, and, and drip ideas to perhaps, like I said, an autoresponder email, which we're going to be able to furnish you with. Number six, you want to be visible. While the written word is powerful, it's not the whole package. Incorporate videos and, and interviews, uh, Google Hangouts, those kinds of things. So you want to be video uh, visible. Uh, put your face on to your name. Remove the fake image that's on uh, your profile and use your real image. Get your social media ratio right. Remember, and this is important, 95% relationship building, 5% selling. 95%, what do I mean by that? So we have an outstanding product that actually helps people in areas of health. Uh, I, I lost 30 pounds using the product. Uh, my, high, my high blood pressure, I no longer have to take my pills. Now, I'm a testimony. So you want to make sure that you share your story and share the things, the good things about the product without selling. You're just trying to share and also solve other people's problems. Because guess what? Other people have some of the same problems that you would run into. So you want to, you want to discover them and then help them solve it. They will like you even more for doing that. Remember, the goal is to get them to like you. And number 10, or rather, uh, uh, well, let me say number, number nine, you want to be generous, okay? You want to share content and promote other people's content. So you want to start sharing other people's stuff online. That way, they want to like you more. And then look at, let's look at number 10, deliver social proof. If your numbers are good, show the tweets and shares and show your articles, show social proof, okay? Or publicity, um, you show your subscribers, show how many, how many people come to the website. Content that has attracted a lot of attention will attract even more. And that's what you wanna do. Those are the 10 ways to get people to like you. And when I said people like you, your potential future clients. Now. All that said, the idea is to know, right? Social media is about engagement. When we engage with the members of our community, they do what? They spread the word, whether it's by sharing our content, offering reviews, or commenting on something they've seen. When people engage with our content, we become more broadly known. So that's the idea, and that's what I told you, and that's to go back to the knowing part, right? Now, Facebook, back to understanding the groups that I talked about last week, how, how do you do this, and how do you in, in, interact all of these concepts with Facebook? Well, understand this. Facebook wants to build community. It's their goal. In fact, they encourage building communities with, these, with their group concept. That's why they promote groups. Now, anytime you know Facebook, the company is behind something or promoting something, that's when you really want to get involved, right? Because that means you'll show up in the algorithms. You'll show up in the news feeds. Facebook rewards people who are actively in groups. And that's why what we're going to do is we're going to start our own group. Not only are we going to be, get into maybe 10 groups a, uh, a week, like I asked you to do, but you want to start your own group. And this, is, and this is such a big thing for Facebook in terms of groups that they came up with their own mission statement. In June, 
of 2017, Mark Zuckerberg had a special conference. And in that conference, he said, Facebook's new mission is to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer. I'm gonna repeat it again. It's to bring the world closer. Now with so many people using Facebook, you can get lost. You probably know sometimes you wanna reach out to some old friends, but guess what, you can't find them. But in the group, community of similar interests, that's where it's easy to find people, easy to engage, easy in community, and that's what Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook want to do. So they are promoting it. Top MLM leaders are already using Facebook groups to make money. So what I want you to do is you need to copy what successful people are doing. And what are they doing? How exactly can Facebook groups help our business, your business, my business? First of all, let's gather our focus on the fact that this is a business of network, meaning the network of your team, of your customers and distributors, and the community of potential customers and distributors. So here are five ways. And I'm gonna end it with this, okay? Here are five ways Facebook groups can help your business, our business, my business, you can build a tribe of potential distributors and customers using Facebook groups. Facebook groups brings the community of individuals with similar interests, as I just said, it brings them together and allows the opportunity to share value with them. It's like a home meeting, a party, but it's online. And guess what, with this COVID here, that's, we have time to get online. So now, number two, Facebook groups can be a recruiting tool. It has the power to show prospects that the business works and is fun. Nothing beats when, when people can go and see all these other people having fun and doing something of a common purpose. Facebook groups also positions you as an expert when you're posting content, sharing, giving advice, you're an expert. And even if you're new, just the fact that you have access to a group that no one else does makes you an expert. And that's why we have to start our own group. Let me go further. And I'm not talking about a, a, a real abundance group. I'm talking about a group that understands negative ions. It might be called, it might be a negative ion group. And I got a mic oh, on here. Oh, oh. Mic here. There we go. Okay. If you're, if you're in a group of like 5,000 people, but your prospect is not in it, and the group is, uh, is special invite only, then already you're different. So people will see you differently. Facebook groups also, number four, Facebook group also provides a training platform for your team. You really don't need any website with logins to access uh, archive trainings. Today, the top leaders, almost all of them are using some type of Facebook groups to train their teams. They do Facebook Live in group or upload videos, all the trainings inside a Facebook group. And number five, and I told you it would be short, number five, Facebook groups also helps improve retention. <laughs> Facebook groups improves retention because it creates community and online relationships. It really captures the energy of offline meetings. So think about it. If you go to an offline meeting, a hotel meeting or a home meeting, there's a lot of energy there. People are hanging out, they're talking, they're shaking hands, right? You go to a meeting, if you're listening or watching, you get fired up. You get fired up right when you come out of that meeting. And Facebook groups does exactly that, the same thing. Facebook groups takes the offline energy and brings it online. And this is especially important if your team is spread out and not local. You definitely need something where people can feel plugged in. So if they have a question for you, if they can't reach you, if they can't see you, it's easy for people to get discouraged. We all know that. And much of this that I'm sharing with you is in this, this new book. It's going to tell you about how to deal with Facebook groups. 
So with Facebook groups, not only can one go in there and update the trainings, but also can get access to any archive library materials that are there as well. So what we're gonna do starting next week, we are going to all begin to engage and enter a Facebook group. But not only are we gonna enter our own Facebook group, I'm not gonna only fish for you, I'm gonna show you how to fish. I'm gonna show you how to create your own Facebook group. And at the same time, what we're doing in that Facebook group, you're gonna to wanna to do that in the many other groups that you've joined. As I said, 20, 25 minutes max, then 25 minutes. I appreciate your time. Uh, Brent, did you wanna say anything else? I wanna uh, uh, just letting everybody know that next Tuesday, Brent will have a guest or he'll be speaking. And next Thursday, I will give you part four which is going to be explosive because I'm going, we're going to all get into a group. It's going to be fun. So Brent, I'm going to turn it on over to you. Okay, DeMarco, excellent job as usual. Very, very good energy, very good data. So everyone out there, let's start bringing people these meetings. This is world-class stuff DeMarco's giving us here. 18 really people here, 18 people in the room right now. Awesome. We need to have 50, 100 people on because yeah. you're, you're, uh, you're the professor. We should call you the professor from now on. Well done, and thanks, everybody, for coming. Appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you on Tuesday.